What's up everyone, the one and only Big Vicious here, and today we're going to be talking about the Builder Hall. I'm going to be giving you the absolute best tips, tricks, advice, and strategy ever for upgrading the Builder Hall not only as fast as possible, but in the easiest way possible with minimal effort. In fact, so easy, probably a baby could do it to be honest. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do that right now. Just get it out of the way. That way I can make more epic content and this channel can get big. So when you're upgrading the builder hall, first thing you wanna do is, well, rush the builder hall, which sounds crazy, but it's actually the opposite strategy from what you wanna do from your main base. You want to rush the builder hall because you wanna just be getting as many loot, as much loot and as many trophies as possible. The more trophies you have, the more loot you're gonna get, as you can see right here. Um, once I hit 3,600 trophies, I'm going to be getting even more loot. So you want to get that up as high as possible all the time. There is no reason to drop trophies in Builder Hall ever. Always get your trophies as high as possible. Second biggest thing you want to do is upgrade your collectors. That just gives you more loot automatically. So upgrade those things, max them out as fast as possible. And also upgrade your clock tower as soon as you can because that's going to make you get more loot faster from your um, collectors. So that's, that's a really great way to do it. Something you don't want to do really is upgrade your walls. They eat a ton of your resources that you need that could be used for much higher value items such as your roaster. I've got mine maxed out. Lava launcher, maxed out. Giant cannon. Air bombs are getting there. Mega Tesla's maxed out. And I've got a few other things maxed out, like this cannon here, this double cannon. So you wanna max out those defenses as soon as possible. And you also wanna max out these troops as soon as possible. Especially, I'm working on the P.E.K.K.A. right now because I've got a really good P.E.K.K.A. strategy that is hardly ever defeated, even against people way higher level than me. And your battle machine, it's good to upgrade it, but it just costs way too much elixir. Your elixir would be much better served upgrading your troops. So don't spend elixir on your battle machine that much, guys. It's going to mess you up in the long run. And your friends and your clanmates and everyone's going to pass you. And not only that, you're just shortchanging yourself. You're not going to be able to upgrade things as fast as possible. So I actually made another video on this topic a while back. I'll put a link in the description. It's a really good video. Be sure to watch it. And But anyway, let's go ahead and do... Let's pop into the main base really quick here. I'll give you an update on what's going on here. So, yeah, let's see. We've got the Archer Queen maxed out. We've got the Grand Warden going up really high and the King going up really high. So this is looking epic. I've got some of the first Christmas trees ever. It's looking really nice. So... Yeah, we've got the Town Hall level 12 maxed out on the stars. So yeah, everything's looking really cool. And we've got this exclusive wizard here, which is so sweet. The party wizard for the time being. It's, it's a party. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and do some builder base battles now. And I'll show you my epic strategy. So let's find a base. See, this guy's got some really strong walls. And on this base, I'm actually not going to use my P.E.K.K.A.s because we've got some openings there. You know what? No, let's go ahead and use the P.E.K.K.A.s. I want to show you this strategy really bad. So we got three P.E.K.K.A.s there. What I'm going to do is we observe the base. We see some things off to the side. So I'm going to drop some archers on those. And then it's really easy. I'm just going to surround the base. Woo, it's tri triggering some bombs, triggering some traps. No big deal. And then I'm going to just drop those P.E.K.K.A.s in and go hard. Now, pretty much I've dropped everything in right away. So the only thing I have to really worry about is pressing my hero ability on my battle machine. And look at this. We've already got 58% and we've still got troops just going crazy. And this base was pretty strong, actually, when you look at the walls. So this is a really good strategy to just get tons of tons of uh, trophies. So just go in. Let's see if we can get this builder hall. It doesn't look like it because that stinking lava launcher is going to wreak havoc on the archers. But we got more archers on the way, so we'll see what happens here. It's going to be maybe close. We'll see. 
I really hope we can get that. No, nope. We're not gonna get the builder hall, but that's okay. We got 82% without even really trying. I mean, what kind of better strategy is there? 84%. So, and we got a victory. Let's see what that guy did. Let's see how he, he attacked. So we'll do a replay. As you can see, he's got a little bit higher level of a um, battle machine than I did. Level 15, I have level 12. And he's kind of using a similar strategy as me, to be honest. So he's got archers going in, higher level. He's got less archers than I had. Um, and he's got four P.E.K.K.A.s going in. Let's speed this up a little bit. So he's pretty much got them all funneled in the same spot. I don't really advise doing that because that's exactly what happens. The crusher wrecks them or, or splash damage things really wreck those P.E.K.K.A.s. So we actually won that one. Uh, probably, I mean, didn't deserve to because of how easy the strategy is. Honestly, you don't have to even really think. It's kind of mindless. <laughs> So it's it's awesome. I love it. So here we go. We got another base here. Let's go ahead and attack, knock off this thing over here, and then we'll just surround everything. Boom. Send in the archer army. And then we got the P.E.K.K.A.s. Let's put them on the side of the builder hall. And yeah, we've got them. Oh man, they're getting clumped up a little bit, which is not what I want really, but we'll, let's see what happens. Okay, good. We got one P.E.K.K.A. splitting off, which is pretty good. So we'll go ahead and rage him up. Let's see if we can, oh uh, no, nope, we're not gonna pick that off. But look, even the strategy, the strategy isn't going perfectly and we're still pretty much wrecking the opponent here. Let's keep going, 50%. We got the double cannon down. This crusher is gonna give us some problems. Yeah, so that kind of stole some value from our P.E.K.K.A.s, but we still got 63%. So 65%, let's see if we can get a little bit more. Nope, so that's it, 65%. And I wasn't even trying that hard, and we won again. So let's see, let's see how they did. Let's see what strategy they used. All archers, a pretty good strategy, but they just probably didn't execute it as well as they could have, or they just ended the battle early. I don't know what happened, let's see. So two times speed, they're shooting in a ton of archers. 15 seconds left, and oh, we got some bombs going off, just wrecking them. He got the Builder Hall, but man, if he would have got that two-star, he would have won. But that's the thing, is you got to try and get that Builder Hall. Let's do it one more time. We got 3,515 trophies, and I'm not even that high up, guys. I'm beating a lot of people that have been doing this for a lot longer than me, so this strategy really works. Just keep doing this. So... Let's do another one, find a battle. Here we go, so we got the builder hall on this one. These, can, these ones can be tricky sometimes, so you gotta be careful. But honestly, it's still the same strategy. You just surround the archers, or surround the base with the archers. Drop the P.E.K.K.A.s a little bit spread out immediately. And focus on your battle machine. So, oh, he's got some damage. And see, we're gonna get the two star on this one because the P.E.K.K.A. is right there. Let's do it. Okay, so we got at least a 64% two star, 66%. Here we go. Boom, 74. The only way they could probably beat us now is if they get 100%. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Okay, 84. Slash it, boom. All right, we got those double cannons down. Okay, Pekka goes down and there's only one defense left. Here we go, let's try and take it. Oh man, oh, barely got that. Got that ability off right before. Oh, please, oh, just barely, 100%. Let's see if we beat them to the 100%. Victory, we did it, and they didn't even get a two star. See, so this base layout works pretty well. And also, the strategy is just better than most people. I'm telling you, like, you need to use it. So, yeah, you got the bombers going in the back. Got the cannons going in. He's going hard. But in the end, even though he's got max troops, 
his strategy just isn't as good as mine. So <laughs> sorry to say it, but yeah, so we got the, the giant cannon really wrecked on that one. Um, it's, it's really nice to max those defenses out. I'm telling you. So yeah, that's what pretty much did it for us there. He ended the battle early because I don't know. I, I think he just knew that the cannon was going to go down over there. Let's do another one. 3,541 trophies. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can push even harder. This strategy works, guys. It's epic. So let's surround with the archers. Whee! Okay. And then, Pekka, Pekka, Pekka. We got the builder. And we are nice. Okay. Let's get those troops down. We just raged up the battle machine. Okay, here we go. We're cracking through the center. Causing some, causing some pressure, causing some heat. Here we go. Take that down. Come on, guys. Don't get pushed by that giant cannon. Okay, the cannon is down. Okay, we're pretty much wrecking the builder hall now. Oh, man. Those archers better get it. Oh, no. We're not going to get it on this one. We probably lost this one. That's okay. You win some, you lose some. But the thing is, it's the overall net wins over time that really get you those trophies and that loot. Let's see how this guy's doing. He's probably at least two starters. No. So he's got, looks like max stuff, 33%, 35%. We might have a chance here, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Come on. Ooh, those cannons are doing some work. Okay. So he's probably won this one. Yep, he's got this one. So he's got the two star. That's really unfortunate, but we never give up. Let's do it again. So we'll wait for this battle to end here. Let's watch it. Probably going to three star us. That cannon goes down and he's probably not gonna get too much more after this. 72%. So the giant's going down. The battle machine is going down over here. Boom. Wall goes down. Bomb goes off. And he's still going. Come on, Archer. Archer Tower, take it down. He's going to rage it again. Yep. Come on, let's do it. Take him down. Okay, now that Tesla's gonna get it. He's probably gonna rage again. Shoot, okay. As soon as he passes around here, he's done. It's really good to just max out your defenses, not your walls, because your walls, pretty much use your walls to direct the enemy troops. Don't use them to try and block because it just, it's it's not going to work. There's, there's ranged units. There's other things going on. So this is a complete example of the directing base. See, like he wants the troops to come around. And we're going to just try to basically rush it. Boom, boom, boom. And let's get the builder, the builder man, the king, whatever you want to call him. Okay, so let's take some of those defenses down. Oh, man, I was really hoping to get that Tesla. That's going to do some work against our peck over there. Still got a shot here. Okay, now we're starting to crack in. Come on, let's, there we go. Barely made that. A lot of these things come down to the wire, and you just got to, really push it. Ah, oh, they're going the wrong way. They're going down. That's what you don't want. But look at this. We still got 85%. Unless if they got a two star or higher, we, we, we did it. Oops. And it looks like they did. They're using a pretty good, they did a pretty good job on their strategy here. They did use cannons and P.E.K.K.A.s and most of the people that I go against do that. They 
lose against me. And I only got 66%. So honestly, if we would have had the troops go the right way, that would have worked. Let's see what we can do on this one. Okay, so we got some traps triggering, that's fine. We're kind of spreading out those P.E.K.K.A.s and the battle machine. So that Tesla's gonna cause some issues. And luckily, the, ooh, the battle machine is away. Oh, please. Oh, it didn't survive. Okay, we still got the two P.E.K.K.A.s. Those troops are just annoying, man. Ah, oh, we're so close. We almost got that battle hall, but we didn't. If we would have our P.E.K.K.A.s a little bit higher level, I think we'd be doing even better, which is crazy. And we're probably still going to win anyways, it looks like. Come on, get that. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, 66%, 68. Okay, so that's it. We lost that one just barely by 6%. Let's try one more. Let's try and end with a win here. So it's tough walls. They spent a lot on their walls on this base. We'll see if it pays off for them. I don't know if it will. They could have they could have maxed out some other things. I they might have everything maxed out, it looks like. Or at least pretty high level. But we'll see what happens here. Probably should have attacked from the top, to be honest, but we'll see what happens. So those archers are staying alive. That's very good. Crushers are down. We just lost our two P.E.K.K.A.s there and our battle machine. Come on. Okay. We got 81%. Not bad, not bad. Let's see how they did. 81% one star, 56%. See, so we actually did a lot better. It's just they got the builder hall, which is really unfortunate, but it happens. As long as you focus on that builder hall, which is what I didn't do, so that's what to not do. <laughs> you need to go for that builder hall, go on the side of the builder hall, Sometimes if you spread the P.E.K.K.A.s out e evenly, you'll get it. Ooh, we got two spectator spectators. But yeah, so 64% two-star. I don't want to end on a loss. Let's do one more. We got this one with our mindless, easy, easiest strategy ever. And I saw we have an opening. Let's see, right here. Put two there and one there. Okay. Ah, uh, too bad our Pekka got pushed out there. Chop. Boom. That's good. Our Pekka's looking strong down there. This is going to be a good one. Oh boy. Here we go. Come on. Push. Push. There it is. Doing some work on the builder hall now. Please, please get it. Okay, Pekka, stay alive. Oh, barely got that builder hall. 80%. That's going to be tough. Tough for them to beat. Let's see how they did. Victory, 11%. Did they really try? Let's see. Put it on two speed. Look at that. Pe if you go all in with Pekka, oh, well, they just ended. But even still, I don't think they would have won that because I've, I've had that happen a lot of times and they still don't win. Don't want to use all Pekkas. So anyway, this is one episode of the best Builder Hall strategy you can use in Clash of Clans to rush, which is essentially the best thing you can do. I'll keep up uploading more videos of me doing epic builder base attacks and other regular raids. So... Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do it right now. If you didn't do it before, shame on you. Do it right now. Don't make me say it again. <laughs> All right. 
Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Take it easy and stay vicious.